Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce to you another note-taking app which is also a favorite of many and this is the Notability. Notability is a note-taking, annotation, and sketching app for Apple users, enabling users to create and share notes that combine handwriting, typing, drawings, audio, and pictures. You can also annotate PDF documents. So I'm going to show you all of these in this video, so if you're interested, please keep on watching. Notability is now a free app but with limited editing and features. You can experience unlimited note-taking and premium content with a Notability annual subscription. So first, let's go and familiarize the menu and toolbar. In the settings, there is the About section where you can see the version of the app, the Notability newsletter where you can sign up if you want to be updated, the support diagnostics where you can monitor the available device storage and the acknowledgements. So you can also follow them in their social media accounts. So next is the subscription section where you can upgrade your plan to premium. So here are the benefits and additional features if you get the premium plan for 599 pesos per year. So you get all the features in classic plus the math conversion, yearly planners, hundreds of stickers, themes, and journals. Next is the auto backup where you can select services for backup. But before that, you need to go to the management accounts and log in to your preferred service to enable the auto backup. Then go back to the auto backup menu and click, let's say, the Google Drive. So here you can see the settings where you can choose the destination, the subjects to backup, and even choose your preferred file format. You can also sync through iCloud to keep your notes up to date across all your devices. There are also themes you can choose from. There's match system appearance, colorful subjects, and there's also the light theme, the dark, dark blue, and the jet black. So in the document section, you can change your default note title. You can also include the date and the time. So here below, you can see how it looks like. Next, you can change your default template, so I'm going to show you this later on. Then, the default note view, uh, the seamless view is the vertical scrolling, and the single page view is the horizontal scrolling. And last is the default media options where you can change the edges of your photos or other media. In the typing section, you can change your default font style, size, and the color. You can also enable the check spelling and tap anywhere to start typing. Next is the handwriting section. So here you can set your preferred language. So I prefer English. The math conversion is only available in the premium plan. You can also enable the straight lines. So whenever you draw a line or highlight a word, it automatically straightens it for you. Same with shapes where it automatically detects the shape you want to draw. You can also set a password for your Notability app. And last in the settings is the text-to-speech speed. Then up here are the standard menu. So just a quick overview of the options. The icon right here is a Notability Plus icon. So this is for subscribers only. So I'll show you this quickly just to have an idea of the other features in the premium plan. So subscribers can have an access to unlimited edits, my script handwriting recognition, math conversion technology, premium content like academic planners, journals, and hundreds of stickers and more. Here on top, we have the create new note icon. So this is the default note view that you can change in the settings. Next is the sidebar view. So in the share icon, you can create a link on your selected note, then share it on these options. Before you share, you can change the format. You can select a certain page to share. You can include the paper style and the recordings that you made. You can also view the PDF preview before sharing. So click share note and these are the options. You can share through mail, 
messages, airdrop it to your other Apple devices, share to notes, OneNote, and more. You can also email or share on Google Drive. So same options apply before sending your notes. You can also print, save on your computer, or connect to other cloud services. So now let's go to the main toolbar. We have the typing tool, the pen, highlighter, eraser, selection or lasso tool, the navigation, and the recording. So here are the shortcuts for each tool. So let's go ahead and make a demo digital note for you to have an idea on how to use these tools. So go to the library, click on the plus icon, and you can add a subject or a divider. So let's add a subject and name it, for example, chemistry. Then let's add two dividers in the chemistry subject. So to do that, click on the plus icon again and click divider. So let's name the two dividers chemistry 1 and chemistry 2. So under these dividers, you can also add another subject or a topic. So again, go to the plus icon and click subject. And then let's type in, for example, matter and its properties. However, you want it under the chemistry one divider, right? So click and hold and then move it a little bit to the right to put it under the chemistry one. Because if you just move it up and down, you won't be able to put it under your target divider. So I'll just create another one and do the same. So these dividers are collapsible simply by clicking it. You can also edit the colors of your subjects to look a little organized. So another thing, you can't make the same exact subject name like for example this one. After creating your subject and divider, we can now add notes by clicking this pen and paper icon right here. You can rename this note, but I'll just leave it be. So on this area, you can type or handwrite your notes using a pen tablet. So the one I'm using right now is the Decofon S from XP Pen. But you can also use any pen tablets that's available. So before we write or type our notes, let's choose a template first by clicking the three dots on the upper right corner. So you can choose your preferred paper size. So the options are the letter, the legal, tabloid, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. You can also choose the orientation, whether portrait or landscape. So here are the basic templates. We have the plane, the rule, grid, and the dot. Notice the three dots right here. Click on this and you can adjust the grid spacing from the smallest to the largest spacing. You can also change the paper colors, so these are the default ones. But there are so many other colors to choose from the color palette. Then here are like textures and patterns to choose from. Down here is the education templates and here there are only three color options. Next is the creative templates, the recipe and the music sheets, same color options. Then last is the planning templates for football, soccer, basketball, and we also have the daily planner, meal planner, and the finance. So let's choose from the basic templates. So here is a sample of the typewritten note.
In the paper icon here on top, you can see all the pages of your selected note or subject. You can also add a checklist for your to-do list. The three hearts here are for your favorite fonts, so you can set the font style, the color, and the size. To adjust the spacing of your paragraph, just click the icon here. You can also add or insert some bullets, numbers, and checklists. Going back here, you can sort your notes by name or by date. And you can also change the view of your notes to thumbnail view or list view. The plus icon on the upper right is for adding media like photos, videos, GIFs, web clips, and stickies. You can also resize the media or rotate it. Now let's try to take note using a pen tablet. In the pen tool, you can adjust the thickness and color of your pen strokes from the thinnest to the thickest. Same options for the highlighter tool. There are two options for the eraser tool. One is by erasing the whole stroke and second is erasing partially. There are also different sizes to choose from. Next is the lasso tool where you can select a portion of your note or photo and move it around on your page. You can also draw perfect shapes or lines by enabling it on the settings which I've already showed you on the first part. You can draw and hold and it will automatically perfect it for you. So here is a sample of a short handwritten note. Using the last tool, select a word or a set of words, right-click, and you can then change the thickness and the color. You can even convert your handwritten word to text. If you want to insert or add some sticky notes, you can click on the plus icon here. To change the scrolling type, click the three dots on the top right and click View. So again, seamless is the vertical scrolling and single page is the horizontal scrolling. You can also bookmark your favorite notes or those that are important. You can also search from your notes but handwritten recognition is only available in the premium plan. To insert a PDF document, you can drag from your finder or import the file. You can edit or write on the inserted PDF and even copy-paste some pictures using the lasso tool. If you're done with your notes, you can share it or export it as PDF document. 
Okay, that's probably it. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you on my next vlog. Bye! Thank you.